Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is the place where we talk professionalized wrestling. Here from the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. With me on the line, it's going to be Mayhem Light tonight. It's going to be a nice one-on-one conversation with Bobby F. J-Town of... Hi, everybody. J-Town, PA. Johnstown, PA. Flood Zone, USA. How you doing, Bobby? I'm great. I'm beaming straight out of the Nerdzeum, uh, mm-hmm. surrounded by Funko Pops, as you can see. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. As somebody was telling me about how they were, uh, one of the wrestlers was reselling Funko Pops and stuff and making a good penny off of it. And I'm like, Bobby is a guy that will never sell his Funko Pops. <laughs> I, uh, I've, th- I've thought about selling a couple of them. Yeah, but, yeah, mm, nah, yeah, 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 no, no. I'm in way over my head. One it's day. too late now, sorry. Some people, some people just buy into gold. He buys into Funko Pops. It's good to go. I'm just gonna, good to go. I'm just gonna make a house out of them. This big house. In it. There you go. That's all you need. And it'll float when the flood comes. This is the yeah. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, 549 Tuesdays we've been doing this. You can check us out all past episodes or indie mayhem shows and all the other shows, and including a great episode of the Midweek War for Lucha Underground, where uh, Matt. Mike had a great discussion with uh, Eric Van Wagnen, uh, a, a co-executive producer for Lucha Underground. Uh, uh, r- r- pretty much the same position of Krista Joseph that's been on the show several times around that, too. So please go check that out. Nice about our conversation with him. Um, some good exclusive stuff about <laughs> about Melissa Santos and The Apprentice on there and some other stuff like like how long Aztec Warfare has been in Krista Joseph's brain. A lot longer than Lucha Underground, that's for sure. But please go check that out, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show on Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, iTunes, uh, and, of course, the video versions on YouTube and Facebook. You can check us out, Live.WrestlingMayhemShow.com. That's where we post whatever live function that we're doing that week is going to be there. Uh, one way or another. Uh, and currently, that's been, uh, of course, the Facebook Live over on our Facebook um wrestling mayhem show page and uh everybody's been chatting with us and interacting with this on there as well and uh you can also drop us a line to that email address good times it's just me time oh it's just you good times <laughs> at wrestling mayhem show.com alone good times with bobby uh <laughs> or the uh, that, that, okay well <laughs> Lone Good Times with Bobby F. J. Town. That's your new podcast. That's your, your I'm not new... turning any ladies away. So hello, I'm... hello, ladies. We're going to get you a date through this show yet. We've had a marriage through this show. We've had uh, 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 relationships come and gone through this show. We, uh, but we will get Bobby the hookup through this show. Ladies, he's single. He's hilarious. And if you want to sleep on a bed of Funko Pops, he can make that happen. During SmackDown. <laughs> I feel like during SmackDown. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and also, a big thanks to our Patreon supporters like Bo Diggity. Woo! And, of course, uh, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Ed Burke out there. Uh, all at the dollar level. Alex Carr is out there in California. Bobby Snyder. Who? Who's that? Huh? And also, of course, the newest member, Christopher Bishop. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, question Eric went out lately for the Patreons. Uh, you guys can, of course, support the show, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Um, and, uh, but, but yeah, we're, we're looking to maybe change up the Patreon a little bit here at the beginning of the year. So please, uh, if you are a Patreon, you got, you got the question. You got the, the, some of the stuff we have in mind for it. We'd love to hear your response. And we'd also love to hear, um, cause we're going to make some changes to the levels and everything and kind of what would you guys want to, uh, see, uh, other than what we do $5 for dollars a month to for, get for, a puppy. Yeah, do we, no, we don't have enough puppies to give out Bobby if, oh, okay. for $5 a month. I mean the shipping alone and making sure, making sure that you poke the holes in the box is, you know, I mean, you don't want to forget that part, right, Bobby? 
No Patreon puppies. No Patreon puppies. No Patreon puppies. Coming soon. Patreon kitties. Our producer, Missy, has something uh, 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 something to include on that. What's that? I think that we should option off a date with Lunchbox. A date with Lunchbox? I think that that would be Why don't we auction off a date with Bobby? Bobby's the one that needs it. Yeah. Okay. We can do Nobody too. wants. To. Look at the. And we lost all of our patrons. And we lost it. There we go. LB is the, the the rare mystical unicorn character for the fan show. We should we do, we should have a Patreon drive to bring LB back. Yes. Is what we need. Yes. So there you yeah. go. There you go. Uh, Missy, hey, look. So Missy's hanging out now. Missy is uh, uh, back on uh, full time ish uh producer for the shows so helping us out here with the tweets and everything as we go uh and she's gonna be hanging out in studio with us so thank you so much for um uh, joining us for the mayhem here missy uh so uh, and also you know throwing out some some uh lackadaisically miked uh uh info over there while we're at it so uh <laughs> but anyways so uh let's get into uh, hey, hey hey bobby let's talk about yeah. wrestling <laughs> okay tlc tables ladders and chairs no stairs oh this my. year no stairs this year happened um and uh I, I i of course i had to catch it up with it uh actually last night uh due to my travel schedule because i was um well i wasn't in the air but i was in new york city and reeling from the air so wasn't really in a position to watch it hotel wi-fi is not great for wb network yeah, I would say so. Um, no, not terribly great uh, in the U.S. or in Thailand, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so, and we, and we were talking a lot about the Thailand trip, actually, on Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold and over on Awesome Cast. If you want to check those out um, uh, uh, too. But tables and chairs happened, and 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 even before I watched it, there was a good comment by Justin Labar, friend of the show, Chair Shot Reality, uh, discussing um, um, how how the show like. The matches were given time, and and there was a lot of you know for better or worse, like they, there was a lot of time, a lot of great matches that happened. Mm-hmm. Top to bottom, it was it was a fantastic pay per view. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I loved it. It, it, it. And again, it's not. I mean, it's not a show where like something giant and fantastical happened, and or mm-hmm. or, or anything like that. But there was a lot a lot of good matches, and, and you showed up for good wrestling and, and i've been seeing a lot of positivity towards smackdown in general mm-hmm. so i mean what, what good what what did we say at the beginning of the year everybody was down on smackdown and, and i said just give them time they're gonna they're gonna make new stars they're gonna they're gonna be fine and what happens miz is by far one of the best characters in wwe right now mm-hmm. aj styles is on another level um Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin is is having wonderful matches with Kalisto. And and on Talking Smack afterwards, like every time Baron Corbin is on Talking Smack, I I I I respect him a little bit more because he's not that he's a cocky heel, which he should be. He's not the angry, you know, in your face, I'm gonna yell at you heel. He's just he's talking to Daniel Bryan as if he's saying, put me in the main event. I'll show you, you know, and that's the way he should be. They need more characters like that. Which, and, it, and it's a good fit for him, which makes it better. I mean, the, the shows around uh, competition, there was, there was another, um, I think, weren't you, I think the guys were talking about last week, how, how SmackDown is NXT, you know, it is pretty much like, yeah. everything is, is simple storylines. Um, not much flash, great, great wrestling stories being told. And, and it does, and they're doing so much with two hours every week where it feels like, it feels like raw is missing something in, in comparison. Yeah. Although even I think raw has been shifting a bit, but we'll get to that a little later, but it has been a little better too, but man, SmackDown has been solid. You SmackDown's know, the better show right now. It is absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Even like for, for better or worse, this goofy stuff with, with freaking James Ellsworth is actually yeah. like working, right? It's goofy. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Some people are freaking sick of the no ching weirdo, but, but it's, it's, it's great. It, it's something different. It's more than just Dean and AJ yelling at each other every week. Right. It, it's, it, and, and they've been, do, been able to use them as a pawn in this storyline. And, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I, lo- I love the reason that he turned. Now I didn't, like, catch it him. wasn't, I didn't catch the beginning of SmackDown. What was the reasoning? Oh, the the reason he said it on uh, Talking Smack was okay. um, that he, it wasn't 
anything against Dean. It's that he beat AJ three times, so he felt that he was next in line for a title shot. So, and he could beat AJ Styles because he beat him three times before, and that's the reason that he wanted AJ to keep the title so he could face him and beat him again. Wait, so for the so championship. so he went from being no chin James Ellsworth getting smashed from Braun Strowman to seeing I'm a competitor. I beat him so many times. I, I should be the next times, in line. I deserve a title shot. Oh wow. Oh wow! Which is perfect. That's great. Yeah, that is it was amazing. So great. Um, and and I mean, you're you're kind of getting like, okay, yeah, of course it's gonna get involved. Like I feel like the same thing on on Raw. It's like, yeah, of course we're gonna have a Jericho title match, but Owens is gonna get involved somehow or vice mm-hmm. versa, right? Like it's like, no, 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 we know what's gonna happen here. Yeah, uh, but still, but still, come on, it, it's 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 some pretty great stuff. Another big difference between Raw. And SmackDown, the 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 women's title or the women's picture, like on Smack on Raw, you have Sasha and Charlotte, and then there's a giant gap, and then there's everybody else. Right. Even Bailey's in that category. They're not doing much with Bailey on SmackDown. You have Alexa and Becky, and then you have Nikki and Natalia. And, and uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, <laughs> Can't fat, think of her fat, name right fat, now. Carmella. Uh, Carmella. Carmella. Yeah. I, I, almost, I, just, and, like, I, I just almost said fabulous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Carmella, for teaching us how to, how to spell fabulous, by the way. Mm. Um, you and, and then there's Naomi. I mean, they're, they're all there. They're all contributing to the storylines. They're all, they're all doing their, their, their part, you know, and it, it's, it, they're actually good, compelling storylines. Mm-hmm. Like with uh, Carmella and Nikki and and Natalia, now they're starting this who done it with, you know, did did Natalia attack Nikki? We don't know. You know, it's gonna be Rikishi. Was it somebody else? Gonna, Is somebody else gonna come into the fray? Like I, I've heard a rumor. It's it's gonna end up being Rikishi because Tamina <laughs> needs to get popped up. I did it. Did I, it for my people. I did it for my people. I did it for Tamina. I did it for I did it for Tamina Snuka. <laughs> I've I've heard you want you want to hear who I've heard it's going to be. All right, possibly. yeah, yeah. Then this is rumor mill. Let's, I, I, let's. I've heard it's going to be Eva Marie that attacked her. I wish think, that'll bring her right back into it. That makes sense. No, that, that yeah. actually makes sense. I mean, she's been uh, uh she, she had a lot of thirty day suspension. Yeah. Uh, so she's well beyond then, that. So they they might be sitting her on the shelf to to cool off after that since they put. And then it might be like Eva her. Marie and mm-hmm. Carmella versus Nikki and and Natalia. Mm-hmm. So that'd be kind of neat. But that's see. great. Like I was amazed when I was like, I was like, wait, women are coming out in the pay per view, and this isn't the title match. Mm-hmm. Yet it was was it was still a no disqualification match, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that, that that's great. I mean, there's there's stuff happening with the women. It's not just it, it, she used a fire extinguisher. So there's like. substance. There's <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, there, there, there's substance to this, you know, and it's being treated, you know, whereas yeah, raw, you know, once again, the women were in the main event spot last night. Um, yeah. and, and, and continue to be, and now they announced the, the Iron Woman match, which, which did what it did on, on NXT last year, right? With, uh, Bailey and Sasha, like this is, it, it, it it's <sighs> those two, those two are the rock and stone cold of the women's division right now, yeah. without a doubt, without a doubt. But you're, but I agree with you that, that it's, it's the other one, the other SmackDown has a division. Raw has the two top stars, right? Yep. It, it, it's, exactly. like, it's like that's Rock and Stone Cold. And then the division on SmackDown is what happens when Rock and Stone Cold got injured and Triple H and everybody else got the pop up, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, which, which is which in both cases is tremendous, right? Um, I mean, because again, like, like, we did have a women's match, which was kind of a throwaway. Nothing real big uh, with Bailey, and I can't even remember who Bailey beat this week. Um, Alicia Fox was it Alicia Fox? Yeah. You know, again, it's it because <laughs> she came out. Which she's obsessed with Cedric Alexander because you have to have a storyline where a woman's obsessed with a man, right? <laughs> Apparently, right. Um, but yeah, by the way, side note: have not watched Two Hundred Five Live, and when Rich Swan came out with yeah, the Cruiserweight yeah. title, I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh. I'm like, nothing's. Well, I forgot it debuted. Uh, yeah, 
and so I didn't get to catch up on that. I, as it is, I was I was struggling to get through um, all the wrestling I felt like I needed to get through, which lends to everybody's big question conversation of we don't need to watch all the wrestling. It's like no, I do need to watch all the wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one it, more one more note from SmackDown with uh, with uh, the TLC. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm very happy for Daria Beninato. So happy she won her match against Carmella. What? Nikki looked like Daria from NXT. Oh, <laughs> the hair braided up. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I was yeah. like, I was like, oh, good for Daria. She won. I, I saw that in advance because there was something about like she gave a shout out to the hairdresser or something on on Instagram. I think because I was I kept. By the way, freaking Instagram. Um, now that Instagram isn't like chronological, I'm mm-hmm. sitting there like, what the hell was it? It was like Monday morning, and I was getting all the pre-match Instagrams, like the, from TLC like, the night before. Stop doing that. Yeah, just it, it's let just, things happen. It's just naturally. really, it's really annoying. And then I get to see the same post like over and over again every time I log in. Uh, so yeah. it's just come on Instagram, but that's for another show. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, great stuff there. Uh, uh, Wyatt's, I, I love seeing the Wyatt's kind of coming to. Okay, that's where we're at now. Uh, with Luke the Harper's a suitcase man. <laughs> yes, I saw your tweet about that. One. <laughs> He's well, basically you, a belt holder. Well, I, well it, it's funny. It might be just because I spent a week with with Chess Flexor, but but I, I'm, when you when I saw that that mention, I, I thought of how and this is indie old show stuff. Uh, how Chess Flexor and Pump Ferrari were the, were the guys in the suits that held the belt for the Gambino brothers in IWC. <laughs> Um, like I, so I'm thinking like, so Luke Harper has, has the chess flexor role right now of, of the Wyatts. So, <laughs> which well, is, which I, is so that's sad. That's another point. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I was going to say, that's another point. Are they going to do the, the free bird slash new day rule where any of them can swap in at any time? Or is it just going to be Bray and, and Randy Orton? That's what I was hoping actually. When I, when I saw like them both hand him the belt. Like I thought, nope, you just carry. <laughs> yeah, apparently, apparently he just carries it. But but did he carry it like on the ring entrance too? Yeah, he nope. had both of them come out. Good, good, and for, then, good for him. Yeah, they, a, that's they, didn't, they didn't. He was just at, at ringside with the belts the entire time. <laughs> but the other thing I was going to say is, but then still, like I feel like if, if this is exactly what we're going to get out of Luke Harper, is he's going <laughs> to hold belts for the next couple of months? Um, that's a big waste of Luke Harper. <laughs> Did you ever see his elite action figure, by the way, Luke Harper's? No, no, It looks no. like he's twirling alligators. <laughs> what? Like, he comes with... His accessories are two alligators. Did you see... And it looks like he's able to twirl them. Didn't you share that on Facebook or something? I did. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I can, I can pull this up here. Um, like, like... There's a- just search for the picture of the, his elite figure, and it looks like he's twirling alligators. <laughs> I think I found it's it. It's one of the funniest second. things. So here's, I don't know if you can see this behind me on the screen, uh, Bobby. But yeah, he, he just has it by the tail <laughs> in this one. This is, this is the ringside collectibles picture from WrestlingFigures.com. <laughs> yeah. He just, wait, wait, wait. There's so many shots of just him holding the alligator. <laughs> in, in various, it's the best action figure accessory of all time. In various poses. And then, wait, his shirt comes off? I guess it sure does come oh. off. That that's weird. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. It's all safe because uh, the, a, there's there's ties I'm around. These alligators shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> the <shirtless> <laughs> I've invented a new sport, Bray. Shirtless alligator trolling. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Why does Earthquake have a have a snake? Because he squashed Jake the snake. Yeah, snake. but wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Let me let me pull this up here. So Maybe? he's he's but he's got so there's a snake that goes in a bag and he has he, but he's wearing around his necks. Maybe I mean this is just the pose probably, but but <laughs> but still like like earthquake as the as a very svelte looking earthquake. Uh, R.I.P. Squash it, man. These are what is these are weird. These are so <laughs> weird. Like this entire collection is completely weird. I just got the junkyard dog the other day. Yeah. What's, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like this, this Godfather. Like again, you can take off his vest and everything. So now he's just he's just comma. He becomes comma. The supreme punctuation. That's mark. what you need. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need. I want the Godfather figure that you can convert <laughs> into Papa Shango and Kama Mustafa. <laughs> comes right? with face makeup. <laughs> comes with face makeup. No, maybe like a little mask thing or something, or maybe it's one of those mm. like the old Power Rangers, the Morphin Power Rangers, where the head flips up. <laughs> Oh yeah, the head flips up. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. a good idea. There you go. 
Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's like the old GI Joe where where you 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 put the figure under a neon light and it turns into the green pants for Godfather. Yeah. <laughs> three so, faces of uh, what's what's his name? <laughs> three faces of 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 that guy that the was Godfather. Godfather. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Charles Wright, wasn't it? Charles Wright. Yeah. 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 Three three faces of Wright. <laughs> I really hope we do get to a point where Papa Shango goes in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, you may, may get there. You may get there. You know, you they're know. gonna be grasp- They're gonna be grasping at straws pretty soon. I mean, I mean, good for Godfather getting in, but where's Papa Sean go at? Come on. Yeah. But okay, that's that's, that's nobody wants common. Nobody thing. wants common. No, 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 no. Best thing, best thing was when he wanted to melt down the urn for his chains. Yeah. <laughs> what a great character that was. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. You, me, and the internet this week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so. Uh, so that was TLC. Uh, there was some other pay-per-view action this weekend and some some things going on uh, outside of WWE I want to get to in a moment. But in the meantime, I want to give a shout-out, IndieWrestling.us. Uh, it, it is our sister site over there. Uh, you can check out some of our friends from International Wrestling Cartel, uh, the Renegade Wrestling Alliance, where we did a live show at the uh, RWA actually a few months ago. Uh, also, uh, Vicious Outcast Wrestling, some uh, classic prime wrestling, the new PCW out of Cleveland, Ohio, uh, which is a special $5 price if you want to uh pick those up uh, a lot of great stars over there like uh, uh dylan bostic and uh and uh, johnny gargano actually uh mac cross there was actually a beard beard versus beard match or i'm sorry battle of the beards match that they had over there uh facade chris Arusso, gory uh a lot of great guys from the area from the pittsburgh cleveland areas uh so go, go check it out yeah a nice nice cheap kind of you know see if you like digital downloads for five bucks, you can check it out. Uh, Premier Championship Wrestling. They're making a lot of waves out there. Um, I'm seeing pictures from the weekend, and like somebody was dressed as a. I think Derek Direction was dressed as an elf. Uh, so and it was trying to to cancel Christmas, I guess. So uh, I can't wait to to see that one come in uh, and see what what that's about with Premier Championship Wrestling. So check them out in around the Indies by our man Riz over there, as well as our Indie Mayhem show interviews. A lot of great ones lately. Uh, uh, coming up this week is Jimmy Vegas. I actually, just talked to the Fallen Flower, uh, Kikyo. I do not call her the Fallen Angel. I screwed that up. Uh, <laughs> but and, uh, and and other great ones like uh, Bobby Shields and uh, Arya Blake recently as well uh so go check out indie wrestling.us sign up for the newsletter for a free digital download show from the iwc and uh updates about uh, uh sales and of course this wrestling mayhem show as well bobby uh so there's a lot going on with ring of honor lately and, and there was something that you wanted to discuss yeah uh this whole this whole like when you, you you were gonna say about the steve karina thing him leaving Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the story this, is, uh, uh, Steve Carino is going to WWE and he's going to serve mm-hmm. as a trainer, uh, in the, in the training center, which is great because he has one of the best wrestling minds, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um, from back in ECW and, you know, ring of honor throughout the years. Um, mean, he's never actually been in WWE, right? Uh, I, Maybe a cup of coffee, if, if that. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say too. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me do some googling on the side. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I, maybe he it might be popped in when they were doing ECW invasions, or yeah. he, he's had to have had like a dark match or something, right? Uh, so Probably. so yeah. So what were your thoughts around that? Um, I think it's a good move for WWE. I think he's like I said, he's one of the the best minds in wrestling. Um, although um, I did not watch i i usually when ring of honor's on i usually watch it twice if if i'm able to i'm i watch it at one o'clock in the morning on saturday night after saturday night lives over on our local channel they they have it on there um and then i watch it again on uh my pittsburgh tv at 12 on sunday um if it's really good the last couple weeks i really haven't been watching it again because of this storyline was Steve Carino and Kevin Sullivan and BJ Whitmer. I just don't like this storyline. Mm-hmm. I just, I, I just, I, I don't like well, it at all. Well, I, and you remember Russo, Chris Russo was on the show telling us about yeah. that storyline and how it's a callback to some old Kevin Sullivan stuff. I just can't get into it. <laughs> I know it, it's so, old I realize school. it is, but it's just like, uh, 
I don't <laughs> like this storyline. Yeah. And yeah. then and then to to involve this week they 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 started to involve War Machine. I'm like, no, keep them away from this. Oh no! But they're already hey, with the face paint and everything. Now yeah, I can see I that. Know. And it's, yeah, it's yeah, probably gonna they're probably gonna join them. And need... I'm like, no. Oh no! I don't know about. Okay, okay. Uh, it, and I have not been kept kept up with Ring of Honor. Like I don't. I think I might have watched an episode. It's always they come to town. I watch the watch the live show, and then I'll maybe watch mm-hmm. the next episode and say, I need to watch more <laughs> Ring of it. Honor. Then I then fade back off again. Nothing against Ring of Honor. I love it. It's just, it's just, again, one of those schedule things. Uh, you know, we can't get in, we can't get all the wrestling, right? Yeah. There's just not enough time. And that's just one of those things that falls by the wayside for me. I'm still struggling like, to get through season two of Lucha Underground. I want to, I love it. I love hearing about the stuff. I love listening to interviews, even mm-hmm. though I'm getting spoiled on exactly what's going to happen at the end of the season now. Uh, <laughs> but, 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 by hearing these, but, but still it's, it, I still enjoy it for what it is, but, uh, but anyway, so 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 you're having some issues with some of the old school happening yeah. there. <laughs> and then they broke my heart two weeks ago when 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 Colt Cabana turned on Dalton Castle. Mm-hmm. It was like so heartbreaking, <laughs> so heartbreaking. Well, Colt. and that's the thing. Damn it? you, Colt! Because then I hear the news like what's coming out of the final battle. Uh, I, I, there was a clip that was floating around of of the end of the Cody Rhodes Jay Lethal match and what how how yeah. that went. Uh, which yeah, I heard about that too. Um, I don't know. I, what's our spoiler zone? It was Friday night, so I feel and it was a pay per view, so I feel like we can say something about it, right? Uh, I didn't. I didn't see it, but go ahead. Uh, so, something. so I mean, basically, Cody uh, uh, kind of beats him with a nut shot and then flips off the crowd. Yeah. So no code, and, on, no code of honor after the match. No code of honor. Uh, he's making jack off moves to the crowd. <laughs> uh, it's it got really interesting, and he got booed out of the building. It was New pretty character. disgusting, Cody. Rhodes. Disgusting, really <laughs> gross, really really gross. Uh, uh, Cody Rhodes. Um, but um, yeah, but so so that was interesting. And then uh, uh, apparently Matt Hardy's coming to destroy to delete the uh, Young Bucks, which wow feels like a death death knell for TNA if they're yeah. showing up there, even though. There's a two-hour deletion Christmas deletion special coming up that I really want to watch. <laughs> I, I st- really I still don't hate me for this. I still have not even watched the final deletion or any of that stuff. You ah, oh, Bobby, Bobby. I, I still haven't. I just I it, when you say TNA to me, I'm just like. And I know, I know Broken Matt Hardy is like some of the best work he's done in a long time. Mm. I just never really was that big into the Hardy boys. You know what? I don't think this is, I mean, you know enough about the Hardys for the callbacks that they do. This is a whole new animal. This is absolutely. I know. I know. And I I know. You should watch it. You should watch it. You you should watch it. You need to do reaction videos and and get that that up there and say, say, (laughs) Yeah. Say I am Bobby F J Town. I have not watched the deletion, final deletion. The six months it's been out, or whatever it is. Um, and and this is my reaction because <laughs> I think I think people. Uh, I'm curious about that. I want to see what your reactions are to it too. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll have yeah, to do, we'll that. do that. The one we really need to do that too is DJ Lunchbox. Yeah. Who, yeah. who has not watched way out of a loop. lick of wrestling. <laughs> like, I really hope we can bring him back after, after 12 months of not being on wrestling and say, okay, this is how it is now and watch him. <laughs> the world has changed. <laughs> like, listen, it's like, it, it, like this idea that he's been in a pro wrestling coma and as embedded in wrestling as he used to be and say, this is how things are now. And just watch mm-hmm. him. Because I mean, we did that before. We had him on, and we were discussing. Well, we were, we're that was the Mayhem Mania match, or regular, right, or right, real right. WrestleMania what, match. What, what is a match that we <laughs> made up versus a match that is actually on WrestleMania, the biggest show of the year? And it about yeah. broke him. I can't imagine when we tell him, "Oh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, Sasha and Charlotte main event at Hell in a Cell." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like stuff like that. Um, you know, or or. The Miz is relevant. <laughs> the Miz is the best wrestler alive today. <laughs> and and having a real call out of Daniel Bryan on live television. Yep. You know. Oh, we need to we need to break his brain with the talking smack Miz promo oh, from geez. like months ago. Oh man. I think I like I I, I worry because I'm like, he would love this stuff. Like mm-hmm. I feel like he would eat this up and all he had to do was last until July to start absorbing it. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, anyways, isn't that an interesting thing that happens? Like we, you know, we've had our down years of wrestling, or like we're watching it and we were like, "What? Why are we still doing this?" You know, and mm-hmm. because we were waiting for this next thing, because we know the next thing is coming, whatever that I may think- be. The, yeah, the next pop, the next boom is like happening right now because oh, yeah. there's so many people watching different, and it's not just WWE. Yeah, it's people. People are watching Lucha Underground. They're watching. They're watching stuff from Japan. Mm-hmm. I mean, there everything is available now. You got New Japan World. There's something for everybody. Yeah, it, it is. You know? it, it's it's dividing it up, and I think you're seeing that. And and I wanted to talk about a little bit the, uh, and this is, um, I feel like. I, I want to label this rumor, mm-hmm. but, but we, we're seeing um, um, fringes of this. Of this was on the survey. I filled out the survey that had this that said, "Would you pay five dollars more for your WWE network if it included pay per views from things like Ring of Honor and TNA?" Like it said that in black <laughs> and white on a WWE <laughs> survey. So that is not rumor. That is not that it's being considered. Mm-hmm. So the word you know is um, and. and <laughs> And I'm always trying to be real careful about like like wrestling rumors because it's funny that we're having this big national discussion about fake news on Facebook. And I'm like, guys, yeah. guys, yeah. I've been dealing with this for like 15 years on the internet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and when, especially real, when, I mean, reality has dirt cheats now. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. It, yeah, like, the real finally, world has their dirt cheats. Finally, now. finally, um, 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 my 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 dad has dirt sheets now. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, everybody's like, like sit there at Thanksgiving. It's like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did, what did you read? You know, well, I mean, well, oh, Bobby. I heard a, I heard this on WhitehouseRumors.com. Oh, well, Bobby, you've been on the internet. <laughs> no. Never. Well, or you've been at you've been at a WB show. You've been at an indie show. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I you, I you had to have had the thing where wrestling fan you know don't know know very little. Maybe you know through through the Facebook group or something. Just says, um, yeah, such and such is happening, and you're just like, that is completely <laughs> not a true thing. My, but it's my, a headline that my, I read. <laughs> my friend brought his friend to my house for pay-per-views mm-hmm. um and I, i've got to know this kid this kid he's pretty he's a pretty good kid um but he comes in he comes in and he'll say like the one night he's like he's like vince mcmahon fired sting <laughs> i'm like what yeah he fired wait, wait, sting wait because- recently this happened recently Oh, this was this was a couple like, months ago. Okay, he's like Vince McMahon fired Sting. That's why he's not there anymore. And I'm like, uh, okay. I just looked at him like, and and this is the type of person that says, um, he'll be he'll be like sitting there. And he's like, okay, well they come out first. They're gonna win this one. They're gonna win this match. They're, they come out first. Yeah. Everybody who's come out first has won this match. they won won every match so far tonight. And I just sit there and look at them. Like, well, it's like what? it's like, and very educated wrestling people that 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 we know do this. Like, you know, well, oh, um, he, yeah, I mean, because like the, hey, we've seen this so many times. Oh, that guy, that guy's standing holding the belt at the end of Raw. He's definitely not winning Sunday. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like that kind of thing yeah. too. Yeah, like everybody's everybody's like every. Everybody, Every event. Everybody thinks they're a booker and reading the tea leaves and and, and figuring it out, not mm-hmm. going for the ride of the story. Yeah, I think yeah. he's going to win because holy crap, you know. I mean, they want you to believe what they want you to believe. Of wow, this guy's completely going to win, or man, this is gonna, you know, you know, going one way or the other, right? Uh, <laughs> I, I admit that I do. I, I do uh, s- some wrestling faux pas because I cheer for all the heels. He cheers. He cheer. He cheers for every single bad guy, or, or he he cheers for every single good guy. And he's like, he's like, that AJ Styles is a great wrestler. I just don't like his attitude. <laughs> I'm like, all that's right. Like, that, that, that's that's like that's like Missy's grandmother that would never like. Oh, Kurt Angle's yeah. Kurt Angle's good now, or Edge is good now. It's like, yeah, but I, I don't <laughs> like like they remembering the thing they did bad, right? Uh, that from so from them, five so. years ago or Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah. Or the thing that Ric Flair did thirty years ago, yep. right? You know, yep, exactly. no matter what he's doing these days, you know, everybody's cheering the hell out of him in his retirement WrestleMania. Be like, that Ric Flair could take I him or leave che- him. I just, I don't know why. It's just I cheer all the bad guys, it, and, and it's it's mainly in WWE and yeah. everywhere else. I, I, well, no, that's not true either because I, 
I'm a huge Mil Muertes fan and Lucha Underground and Pentagon, you know, Pentagon Dark, Pentagon Junior. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby likes the bad boys. Ladies. Does it say something about me? My character? I don't know. <laughs> Um, just a good christian boy like the young bucks sword. that's right uh, don't worry i'm filling this all out for your match.com profile uh okay. but anyways okay. uh christian which, which uh, match.com i you, i hate match.com <laughs> wait that's another podcast it's another podcast. <laughs> another podcast it's like you got you got somebody checked you out but you have to pay 40 dollars a month to see who it was <laughs> <laughs> oh geez um <laughs> we're unlocking a whole new <laughs> welcome to the dating <laughs> welcome to the dating mayhem show with bobby fj yeah. town hello who wants to see that have us with a poll on the on the social nobody. media nobody <laughs> nobody all the patrons are flocking away it's just gonna be me <laughs> it's gotta be something we can figure this out we can figure this out <laughs> No, wait. That's not John Cena tweeting. I'm sorry. I have the, the I have the I have the, my mass WWE etc cetera, etc cetera, hashtag feed, and sometimes I get weird stuff. And thank and not as much porn as I used to. Uh, but anyways, uh, I, hey, I, I did look up the Steve Carino thing that you were asking about earlier, mm-hmm. and according to Wikipedia, he did make some appearances uh, in the mid '90s in WWF as a dropper. So, oh, okay. so he has had a cup of coffee. Or at least yeah. catering in in WWE. I could have sworn he was in ECW, but I guess not. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. There was something. Carino wrestled your food trial matches for WWE over a span of two days, and this was in 2007. That would have been around. And Dusty Rose, Dusty Rose was apparently trying to get him a contract. Uh, Carino, oh, 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 Carino stated on his MySpace he enjoyed his time with <laughs> WWE, but felt he was too old school for the company. So there you go. All right. <laughs> Placing that stuff. All right. Well, we're going to go to the big question here. But first, a big shout out to our friends that have been supporting the show for well over two years. Supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza are uh, the fine folks at Slice on Broadway, sliceonbroadway.com. We're talking actually in the Slack earlier today uh, over for the awesome cast Slack. And our boy Doug Durda, should I drink that.com. Long time friend of the show uh, was saying that he's really excited because uh, uh, Slice apparently has a mobile club that you can get some deals on the mobile phone. Uh, so I think I think cool. they texted to you or something like that. So uh, go check them out. They're here. If you're in the if you're in the area down here in Beachview, the original on Broadway Avenue, right along the tracks that the T run on, the only place where the tr- the T runs on the street in Pittsburgh, the only place we have an on street trolley. Uh, so it kind of sticks out, uh, or Carnegie PA down on main street or PNC park home of the Pittsburgh pirates. Uh, but they have been serving with fantastic stuff. New Yorker approved. Thanks mad Mike for that. And, uh, and, and go check them out. Let them know the mayhem show sent you give them mayhem high five and check them out. Slice on Broadway.com. What's that? Did you just self high five? I did self pizza. high five. If you're digging it, give yourself a self pizza high five right now. But not if you're driving. Not if you're driving. No. Uh, so hands which, up if you're not driving. Hands up if you're not Bob driving. Say. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I, I gotta give a shout out to Mikey and Bob. Uh, well, I felt bad because I was out. I was in Thailand, of course, with uh, uh, with Chess Flex or uh, yeah, parse that uh, last week during our stuff a bus, which is their big their mm. big charity thing, right? And yep. uh, we stayed on. Kamala Beach, which is looks like well, it depends on the signs. Where it's Kamala called. Beach. It looks like Kamala Beach. Yes. <laughs> and and what do I get? <laughs> and what do I get? I and I didn't even uh, tag them in anything like this, but um, I I get it. I just get a gift from Big Bob of of Kamala. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and of course, first thing we said is like, oh, Kamala Beach. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> Ugandan, Ugandan Giants Beach, right? So the Ugandan Giants Beach. And no they also, caskets on that beach. And they also kept saying, they also kept saying that it was a private beach too. Like it, it was not a public beach, but it was private for the hotel, right? And yeah. I'm just like, is this Kamala? Like, does Kamala own this beach? <laughs> you know, beach. like I feel like I, I, I feel like like we're gonna show up and and uh, oh, what 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 was this handler's name? Why can't I think about it now? Uh, kimchi kimchi like you're gonna see kimchi just like yeah. brushing sand which off is, of the beach chairs you know which is also a a delectable uh, i guess i've never had it 
uh, Asian food. <laughs> I think, right? Isn't it? Uh, Isn't some, it something like that. There was also like a random wrestler in uh, WCW Revenge named Kimchi. Like when they just had like the really random like like looks like they did a creative wrestler and wouldn't let anybody else participate kind of thing. Um, but yeah. How does how does I'm sorry. This is this is a complete offshoot here because we completely did the ad and we should be going into something else. But yeah, I know. but how does do you ever look at the roster for WCW in the mid to late nineties? It was insanely large. Yes, most of them were weird jobbers that wrestled on Saturday night, but. You had that many people under contract, yet when you did a video game, you had to make up people to fill the roster? Who's doing this? You couldn't put a Colonel Parker in there? You couldn't put, a, a, what was the Sergeant? Sergeant um, Craig Pitbull Pittman. Yeah, you, wow. You really, wow. <laughs> that came from way back in here. <laughs> wow, back in the back of the head, you know? Or all those old WWF guys like Jim Neidhart and British Bulldog that you signed. Like, you couldn't put all those guys in there? But you can put a guy like wee wee. fake ninja guy and and Kwee Wee and, and, and that was Glacier. <laughs> there was no the there wasn't even Glacier. There was no Glacier Mortis kind of thing, you know? It Wrath just, Mortis. Wrath All Mortis. fake oh, Mortal Kombat geez. characters oh, they probably geez. couldn't put in the game for copyright reasons. Oh man, too close to it. THQ was not gonna mess around with that. Nope. So all right, guys. Uh here's a message uh from another show, and we'll be back with a big question. <laughs> Let's talk tech. Tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net. It's a, it's a mayhem show. Uh, the question's coming up, but we had a question. Hey, Bobby, I love that it's just you and me and Missy uh-huh. just hanging out. Uh, but but this is the most tangent like show we've had in a while, I feel. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> So... We were talking about the big question and some of our answers coming up, which I don't even have an answer yet, so I, we probably came back way too soon. But uh, but we were talking about the big show, and you had some thoughts on the big show. Yeah, the big show looked... I, I said to this to Sorg earlier, he looked healthily weird. Health, healthfully... Health... If health... Healthily weird. Healthy. Um, healthy, he but looked, weird. He looks very healthy. Yeah, he looked good. But he looks awkwardly he just looks awkward he looks like a character from like that would be you'd see in crash bandicoot <laughs> it's kind of like a polygon oh, pops in my head is when you pick up the mask he goes boo, 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 da, da. yeah <laughs> it's like he looks like he he's got oh. like this like his arms are out to the side oh, but he, oh. <laughs> and he's got like a big barrel chest and then the rest of him kind of like goes like as as a wedge hold on i need to get a get a i need to see if there's a picture from raw of him so there was a there was a, some images like instagrams or something from where were they mexico or something i think they were in mexico like the, the, the thing that raw group was in mexico and he had a match wherever they were maybe he's okay japan or something but um and i noticed the beer like he's got he's got yeah, the, the he's got the beard thing going. Oh, oh there's the video. Okay, I don't want to show that because they'll take us down off of YouTube. Some say grew beard and still lives here. But uh, but no, good for him because it was definitely you know last we I think we saw of him. It was just like man, I hope he's doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and he's been off the road for a while, which I think is a, a conscious decision because I, I I mean he's one yeah, of those, I think he needed a break. He's one of those guys that they're not going to use regularly, right? I I, I think. Yeah, and- I, him and Kane have, have just kind of like and every time they bring him back, they flip flop him and like within one week he comes out as a bad guy and leaves as a good guy. By the again. way, oh, well, I like there's somebody tweeted a picture of him coming to the ring with Kevin Owens and then leaving the ring like like presenting a down to Kevin Owens for Seth. And, yeah. and 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 it was just like hashtag vintage big show. Yeah. <laughs> But he talks about that. It, we, we, the, the Stone Cold podcast. He talks about like how he was handled and and and, and how I was like, man, I wish I was handled a little better. That wasn't this weird flip flopping, mm-hmm. never you know, whatever character Ooh, you know. That's a job I could take. Big show handler. Big show handler. <laughs> I just make sure he gets like what he needs. Like you need anything, Big Show? Nope. All right, my job's done. <laughs> You're good. You're good to go. Need, need a cheeseburger? Nope. Nope. I'm off cheeseburgers now. <laughs> nope. Need a vape pen? Oh, of course I need a vape pen. And a Coke Zero. 
By the way, I, I just saw this on the front page of WWE.com. A uh, friend of the show, Johnny Gargano. I love, you know, we, we've all followed him on social media for years at this point, right? And we know, like, how quirky his feed can get. I love that that, that this, like, quirky feed has now in, in, in infested uh, WWE.com. Just him with a stuffed animal in, in um, <laughs> Australia, apparently. Uh, so. Believe it or not, first Mayhem show I ever, I, I think I've, I witnessed was with Johnny Gargano. <gasps> Johnny Gargano was was popped your Back in the day. your Mayhem show cherry. Yes. Was it when we were it's talking true. about his yeah. uh, Shawn Michaels cardboard cutout? It might have been. It was. It was like a long time ago. I know. That's why we have what we have behind us in the set right now. Because I figured this is the path to greatness. So got Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan hanging out back here. Um. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, I think we're supposed to do it. Is this the part of the show where we're supposed to do a big question? I don't even yeah, know I anymore. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> well, you you had a big question. Yeah. Um. Since since John Cena is hosting Saturday Night Live this this week for the first time, um, I was one. I was I was pondering this. Um, would you like to see anybody else from any other federation, like any other wrestling group, host Saturday Night Live? Who do you think would be a good fit as a host for Saturday Night Live one day? It, it, could it be a WWE guy or or something like that? It could that? be a WWE guy. It could not be a WWE guy. Who do you have in mind? I have Dalton Castle in mind. Okay. All right. Dalton would be great. Um, mm. he he was a former radio host. He's got the comedy background. He does comedy like stand up comedy. His character is like perfect comedy mix of comedy and just improvisation. So I think mm. he'd do, I think he'd do well. I think along those lines, if we're going to go, uh, <laughs> well, it's Ring of Honor, but still, uh, I think yeah. Colt would would be able to hang. Like you kind of wish, yeah. like He's man, another one I was thinking of. I I hope Colt blows up on the mainstream to get that kind of opportunity. But mm-hmm. um, I think he's somebody that can kind of hang with it, right? Mm-hmm. So hey, yeah. definitely. I mean, who are people that? Because I I keep I was going through the list and like Kevin Owens would be good, right? But it's mm-hmm. like yeah, but. Like I don't see Kevin Owens like doing a bunch of movies, right? Uh, yeah. Dean Ambrose is to a certain. But actually, I just got from the I picked up from the library the um, the lockdown show or a movie with Dean Ambrose. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I want to see how that goes. Uh, I need to get that one. I need, to, I need to get that one with Rusev with a gun uh, with with yeah. Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> that, that, that's, the, that's the title of the movie. Rusev I don't know. With a gun. <laughs> Whatever it is, just the Rusev with a gun randomly. WWE presents Rusev with a gun. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, and Dolph Ziggler <laughs> and Kane are in this too. <laughs> By the way, um, it, is it Lana in that one too? Is that or, no? That was the one with Edge. It was one with Edge. I don't think I've seen any of the Edge yeah. ones. Um, anyway, that's Lana. That's that's called Lana without an accent. <laughs> <laughs> or Pitch Perfect three. Um, yeah, yeah. I need to do the second one of that actually. Anyways, okay tangents but anyway so so yeah i'm going through and yeah i think i think colt would be fun because i mean he's and again he's a he's a stand-up guy so so that makes sense so you can kind of see that transition happening um like a lot of comedians do uh but aside from that man i like i i'm, I'm thinking like current wwe people and 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 nobody i mean I, there's a lot of great people <laughs> roman reigns piss everybody off oh, he always got cue cards he'll be all right um <laughs> i'm not a host I'm not a good host. I'm not a bad host. I'm the host tonight for Saturday Night Live. <laughs> like I wish Stone Cold would. For New York. I, I really do wish Stone Cold would. I think yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. But but again, Kurt Angle. Yeah, yeah. I, and, 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 Back and in the day, they're not going to go on until like Cena. Like I, I, again, these are for whatever they're worth. But reading an article today about how supposedly Cena's taking on a lot of outside projects, and that's why we're not seeing it, right? Um, I mean, for him. like the guys we're talking about last week is like, guys, this was a this looks like a great pay per view. SmackDown's doing amazing, and they're not even using the biggest gun in their in their in their chest. Yep. And John Cena, by the way, where's they're Undertaker? Wait, 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 by the way, where's Undertaker been since he said he's going to stick around? <laughs> has, anybody, <laughs> has anybody noticed? <laughs> he's like, I'm here to stay. And that was three weeks ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> WrestleMania won't define me. It'll be a random episode of SmackDown, which I'll show up <laughs> five weeks from now. Uh, um, I'll see you. I'll see. I'll see you on the first Tuesday of January. <laughs> I'm going to fight James Ellsworth. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Like I picture, 
Like, I remember when Jimmy DeMarco beat Ray Rowe and he walked around with a t-shirt that says, I beat Ray Rowe. And like, then James Ellsworth like, somehow manages to beat The Undertaker and then he just starts a new streak. <laughs> All these jobbers. Or carpenters, I'm sorry. Carpenters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always got to listen to Stan Hansen. Oh, geez. But anyways, uh, did I give an answer? <laughs> Yeah, you said Colt. Uh, yeah, I'm no, a Colt, definitely. But, I, I mean, I think as far as, like, WWE guys, like, who could be, like, the next dude? Yeah, Actually, I think, like, I don't know, maybe Seth. I don't know. Seth could be all right. Seth He'd could just be sit right. up there and laugh for, like, a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, like, a bunch, that'll be it. a bunch of skits where he's a, just a big asshole. Yeah. Just, that's what he does. <laughs> he just, like, laughs yeah. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> But they'll sneak this. They'll sneak the Saturday Night Live characters around. Like dr- drunk girl is always at a party, and they'll be just like, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> so like, you don't make any sense. Yeah. Again, I go into this uh, Seth Rollins. I go into Kevin Owens, and I'm just like, "But they're a very specific character, right? They're mm-hmm. not like The Rock has. Like you feel like The Rock has some dynamic range at that point, you know? <laughs> and another bringing up another SNL point. Those guys are like a lot of those comedians are wrestling fans. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like Pete Pete Davidson, Pete Davidson, I think is a wrestling fan. Uh, Michael mm. Che, they had they had an indie wrestler. I can't remember who it was on a picture on Pete Davidson's wall in one of the skits. Was it was it a picture of a re- an indie wrestler? Because hmm. I remember seeing the tweet. I can't remember who it was though. But they're like he beat John Cena to SNL. <laughs> <laughs> Like this indie wrestler, I can't even remember who it was. I, I think it I think the- John Cena is long overdue for them. Like absolutely, yeah, yeah. And there's always been there's there still is to a point that that WWE and NBC connection too. Uh, mm-hmm. So like I feel like that's something. That's Dolph it. Ziggler and Miz could do something. I'm oh, SNL. Dolph, Dolph and Miz would be perfect. Mm-hmm. They're but they I I can't see them like getting. Yeah, they're, they're not big great. Stars yet. Yeah. They're great, but I can't see them getting to like a rock John Cena level in the mainstream, yeah. right? Mick Foley. And that's nothing. That's not a slight against. I, I, I don't know what it is that that that's missing from them, but they have so much. They, they, they would be the closest. Like I, I would, I would mm-hmm. see them being again that they have that dynamic, you know, range like in in acting and everything. I feel in performance and uh, and do other things, you know. That I, mm-hmm. I think they could certainly fit those kinds of molds. So, or as I was just seeing on WWE.com, Wade Barrett, who is still being advertised for a movie. <laughs> Man, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Doesn't it get a little I'm awkward? No longer with the company. Do we get a, Do we get a video or animated release that doesn't have somebody that's been fired or has had awkward news about them? Uh, we had CM Punk is strangely not in the commercials for the okay. Flintstones cartoon. Paige is apparently part of the Surf Up, Surf's Up movie that just came out. Um, uh, Wade Barrett, who just Shortly decided after I tweeted out, is Luke Cage? Or, yeah, is Luke Cage? Is Luke Harper a suitcase? They had a Total Divas commercial where Paige was kind of breaking down. I, I tweeted out, is Paige a nutcase? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. It doesn't matter. She's maybe. all over Total Divas too, isn't she? Like during yeah, all this nuttiness. Now. So there you go. There you go. I think she's gone. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's gone. Like she's not officially gone. But she's gone. Oh, she she's got 90 more days, and then she's gone. Oh uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. She's like she hasn't hit the 90 day plateau yet. She's like like responding to Alberto's no shows. There was indie dates and stuff. It's it's getting it's getting weird. It's getting real weird. Is crazy a drug? <laughs> can you get suspended for crazy yeah sure yeah sure um it was kind of we suspend you for wellness because you've got to be on something girl uh Mental anyway wellness. yeah exactly right i mean that, that <laughs> should be a part fun. of it especially the crap they have to go through bobby you yeah. had another talking point you wanted to get into oh my gosh oh wait is this I had... wait 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 this is the this is the bobby marks out segment that like we had before yes. right yes. okay all right i, had I love these they're the adorable birthday. I had the best birthday. Happy belated birthday! Thank by you, the way, thank you. I think um, I, I got that. I got that beautiful Phil Castle picture that's behind me on ooh. this side. Yeah, that, it's, that, it's, that it's, right there. It's digital fuzz um, at this point. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, I, I got an autographed picture of Phil Kessel. Um, but the main thing that happened to me the night before my birthday at about, I would, I would say about midnight, like slightly before midnight, I think it was like 11 something. Um, it was, it was actually right after I watched NXT. I watched NXT late because of the Penguins game. Mm-hmm. And I tweeted out that the reasons that I loved Asuka. <laughs> and I found the gif of her. Remember when, when Cameron slapped her and she turned it into the arm bar? Like she rolled with Cameron and turned it into that arm bar. Right, 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 um, right, right. And then I was like, oh, here, well, here's, I, I said, this is the reason I love Asuka. Okay. And then I was, it was the, the footage of the gif was kind of grainy. So I tweeted on another one and I said, oh, here's a better picture of that gif of Asuka. And I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I see Asuka replied to your tweet and it said, um, very sweet. And then a uh, bashful face emoji or smiley face emoji. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Oscar knows I exist. And then all of a sudden, my Twitter for the rest of the day, the next day, was everybody just like favoriting that tweet. I think I had like 96 favorites and 46 retweets on my tweet. Her tweet had like 300 and some favorites and like 90 some retweets. I was like, holy crap, this has never holy happened crap. before. 45 retweets, 110 likes at this point. Here's the uh, GIF right there. This is the one that actually got uh, uh, shared by her. Um, yeah. well, I can't seem to get to that in an easy way. So, okay, good for you, Bobby. There you go. Yeah, she's I was a, like, I was hey, like, Oscar's like one of my favorites. She's a video game girl, mm-hmm. you know? So. She would beat the crap out of me, and I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> I love that's where we go one bit. That's where we go. Also, apparently I don't have a, a, why are you in an abusive relationship? I don't care (laughs) because I love it because I love it. Um, also apparently I do not have the Japanese language pack, um, on my computer because her, why why, why is Asuka, (laughs) why is Asuka just talking in squares on her Twitter? By the way, uh, somebody has a, her on a uh, Street Fighter 2 character select screen. <laughs> nice. Pretty awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing this, if I can find her response to you, but no, it's just squares and stuff. Um, a lot of people yeah, it doing... Says, um, sweet. A lot of, a lot of people doing um, um, art, by the way, over there. So Yeah, Finn Balor retweets a lot of art, too. Mm-hmm. It is. Oh, it's interesting. Uh, uh, sorry, so there's one where there's a parallel of... Uh, uh, Mickey James at Takeover versus New Year's Revolution from several years back. So, and that was I your latest edition of. Oh wait, I found it. There we go. Yep. Is that a bashful face? It looks like it's bleeding from the mouth. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know. It looks a little <laughs> different on mine. What, what is this icon? <laughs> so I don't know. Oh boy! Uh, there you go. There you go. Good, good, good job, Bobby. Good job, Bobby. Thank you. But that's what I, 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 AJ, I go ahead. AJ, tw- oh, oh, it's a tongue hanging out emoji. Um, but AJ tweeted, in a, <laughs> AJ tweeted, Bo diggity tweeted, Bobby, Bobby, this happened. Holy shit! <laughs> 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 like right after it happened, and I'm like, I know. I, and that's one thing I, I, I appreciate with you guys, uh, you, uh, Mike, uh, 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 Riz are you get the wrestlers attentions mm-hmm. whether on your own account or on the mayhem show account. And I, and then I, I'm you very, I am very, <laughs> well, yeah, whether, sometimes whether we want them or not, what's up TJ yeah. Perkins. Uh, but, uh, no, I, I love any time like a show was on or something like that. And I wake up and look at my, my activity feed and it's like, Oh, Hey, here's a, here's a WWE wrestler just liked or responded to something or Lucha underground or, or whatever the case may be. So, um, I, I think that's really cool that, that, you we do get those those kinds of attentions and, and and again like this is an interesting era where we can do that right uh you know I, I, you know i feel like uh wrestlers are you know you can interact with stars but i i feel like like these guys are more receptive to it maybe they're you know can actually deal with it because they're not too too big like i feel like john cena can't do it anymore 
That's why John Cena has yeah. the weirdest Instagram ever. Um, where <laughs> you ever notice his Instagram? We we talked about this on the show, I think, in the past. Yeah. Where he, yeah. he just and he actually says on his thing, is it just uh, uh, Instagram slash John Cena? Um, he'll just put a picture up, and that's it, and won't explain anything. And the pictures he puts up are typically the most random effing things you've ever seen <laughs> but, like lately he's been posting um just like pictures of like here's a guy talking to einstein <laughs> what what are, john, john what are you doing um but but then like he'll put oh no there's some random stuff that you're like like i think turned into uh like some kind of weird rumors like he has a don't tread on me. Let's see. I bet this is around the election. <laughs> um, or here's a picture of Bob Ross with the Predator. Uh, He's just like, here's... I'm going to post this for my buddy Jack Swagger. He needs some support right now. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag we the people. <laughs> Hashtag we the people. He just posed the old school Survivor Series uh, logo two weeks ago. Oh wow! Some of those comments are not great. Um, uh, they're just shooter McGavin picture. Like I think he's just like watching movies and on his phone as he's going to whatever. John and Cena's a member berry. He, he he's a walking <laughs> member berry. This is member. oh oh respect. Here's just a random. Here's Stratos and He Man on a mountain shaking hands, and Stratos member has no Stratos. shirt on. Remember Stratos and He Man. <laughs> By the way, I finally, Orko? because you guys kept doing that, <laughs> I had to go watch the Member Berries episode of South Park. It did not hold up to whatever the hell is going on around it. <laughs> Remember, you can't see me. Oh, jeez. Oh, Remember the five knuckle shuffle. I. <laughs> Remember sexual innuendo? <laughs> here's hold on. I'm sorry. This is what this podcast has turned into. But here's here's something from like eight weeks ago. That's uh, 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 Silent Jay and, and, or I'm sorry, Silent Bob and Jay, uh, but with their pictures replaced with Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. <laughs> we should have a segment called This Week in John Cena's Instagram. <laughs> this Week in John Cena's. <laughs> Just sneak it in every week. What's Cena, what's sweet Cena Instagramming today? <laughs> <laughs> Just a. Uh, or just you know, thoughtful, thoughtful, uh, uh, Cookie Monster with a shirt collar. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So oh, weird. Boy. But he's John Cena. And he can do that. Like I think he just loves to see that and just watch fans go insane on his yeah, comments. What does this mean? He he is an ARG game. <laughs> an ARG augmented reality game. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the John We're trying Cena. to figure out. Okay. Here are the augmented reality games. We're trying to figure out what happened in Lost, what the... what's happening in Westworld, what is this? what's happening in Overwatch, and what's happening with John Cena. There's a picture. It's Fifty Shades of Grayskull with a... With a <laughs> with John a... Cena's a huge E-Man fan. The, the he's apparently a giant E-Man fan. I'm sending this to Katie. That's That's... That's... Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. I once made a meme of a 50, 50 Shades of Grey Choose Your Own Adventure book. <laughs> it was a great thing that I did. Oh, jeez. I, uh, okay. What, Bobby, what the hell did you learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> <laughs> I learned to appreciate the ladder match again this week. Mm. Um, Dolph Ziggler and The Miz just killed it. That was, I think that was match of the night mm -hmm. from TLC. Um, just the psychology in the match. I've never seen a figure four over a ladder like that. That was something I've never seen in a ladder match. And Miz just kept working on his legs so he couldn't climb the ladder. It just it it was it was so good, and it was just a regular ladder match. Mm. Like now you 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 have like you have to have like it's like Money in the Bank has like how, how many people in it um, in a briefcase um tlc matches there there's just it was just a regular ladder match and it, it was it stole the show i thought at tlc so Certainly. that was what i learned I, that, like i said incredible stuff i and i think both of those mm -hmm. um uh that and and the the aj and dean stuff was just so great uh absolutely yeah. also i learned that i love the crowd reaction shots <laughs> well yeah what was up I saw everybody responding about it. I thought I saw everybody responding to the 
the crowd reaction shots on Twitter. <laughs> I loved it. I thought it was, I was some people. It was like mixed reaction because they're like, "Well, you we shouldn't make it about uh, about the fans." Why the hell not? No, the they're greatest there. thing. No, 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 no. The greatest thing is that like when they 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 have the low level music and it's just mm-hmm. images of fans reacting at WrestleMania. <laughs> Yeah. in the crowd yeah. like like from the it's crowd like, like i think that's the most like emotionally awesome thing and it's like yes this is why we effing watch wrestling you know like and like it, that's and it's like if it like they're not capturing fans that are like trying to get on camera they're capturing the moment it happens like something happens and that that one guy was like like oh he was like genuinely shocked that you know that i think it was when Ellsworth uh, pushed Dean off the ladder. Like he was genuinely shocked, and they captured that moment on like camera. Mm-hmm. It was great. Mm-hmm. How they do that? Like the, 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 just the the video people. I mean, we notice when things kind of screw up, but the video mm-hmm. people that that are able to pull that off and coordinate that it's just absolutely incredible. I, lo- I man, I'd love to be on that team, or probably wouldn't want to be on that team. It's right? insane. Um, sure. Yes. Oh, it was, you, do we have other places that people learned? Other, uh, yes. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you what you learned, but if you have other ones, I was gonna, go yeah, I was gonna get to the, you know, we're doing the comments, Bobby, on Facebook. What did everybody else do on <laughs> Facebook. Uh, some people ask, uh, let's say what they learned. Um, uh, Joseph out there, he says, okay, I learned that even in this quote new era, that what was thought to have been burned bridges between promotions can be easily mended by either a family's legacy or a bit of a broken brilliance lol i also learned that a censored hole on a wrestler's tights is still as funny as the bare bottom exposed for the entire world to see (laughs) well there you go there's a lot a lot of nuance there between ring of honor and wwe uh also wait so wait okay learn it even the new area what Burn bridges between promotions. I so so, I, so I think he's, resp- he's replying about the the Matt Hardy thing, but I don't know the story. Mm-hmm. Like, is it is it just? I wonder if TNA is letting them. Borrow yeah, him is he on loan? Is he on loan from TNA, or basically TNA can't stop them anymore? I I I, 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 I like feel like I don't know. Do contracts is, exist in TNA? <laughs> uh, Rob, I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was one one thing I read was, and again, you know, I'm going back on the like shit you read on the internet, fake news stuff. But there was something about like like um um smashing pumpkin guy, the smashing pumpkin guy, Billy Corgan, uh, Billy Corgan. smiling smiling politely, uh, uh, saying something about how Dixie Carter is the ultimate worker or something like that, which. <laughs> just confused the shit out of me um but anyways uh rob rob's out there and he learned uh when he first saw the hole in aj's pants he feared the worst uh also alex cards learned that we are finally going to get hardy's versus bucks of youth in ring of honor hashtag ring of deletion <clears throat> uh and and mad mike just home from work and toys r us which is uh, what do they call it? A house of awesome on SmackDown tonight on the commercial. <laughs> like, <laughs> house of awesome. I watch SmackDown. Toys R Us. <laughs> it's a house of hardcore. <laughs> it's like whatever ad they had for Toys R Us tonight. It was just like it's uh, how it's it, like the the, the the they call it a realm of amazing or something like that. And I'm like, does my Mike know that he works in that kind of place? <laughs> and and he, Mike's gonna have like, but, a British accent. He responds pretending he's on Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get Matt. I want to get a camera and Mad Mike and his Toys R Us, and we need to film some segments. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at him. Um, also, but anyways, you learn that TLC matches are nuts. The, all that to get to that. <laughs> so, all right. Holy crap! Uh, what did I learn? What? Yeah, what did you learn this week, Scores? What did I learn from wrestling this week? I learned. I learned that certain wrestlers get mad that I'm, they're not on our show yet. <laughs> I got cornered by somebody on Snapchat. Uh, but anyways, um, Snapchat. Or was it Snapchat? It was FaceTime or something, I think. And uh, but uh, yeah. Anyways, but <laughs> what did I learn? Uh, I learned. I learned that there's like no wrestling in Thailand. Really? <laughs> I, That's surprising. I was trying to find some. I, I found some like kind of maybe promotions, but they're co- sort of from Australia. Thai boxing is a big thing. I went into their like a department store where like you go to the Walmart, you find WWE toys. Nothing nothing and like marvel is big there dc comics batman stuff like that 
nothing for pro wrestling. It just doesn't exist over there. Um, but there's Thai boxing. There's Thai boxing. Uh, what? No, like like Thai boxing, like like Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, <laughs> oh, <laughs> or wow. something like that. Um, so and uh, but they had they go around the. I, I wonder if I can pull up a picture. But they uh, they go around on these trucks. And this is again, this is like kind of the touristy main town on the on the on the yeah. island uh, and everything. But they go on these trucks, and there's two people standing on the back of the truck, like it's like it's an elevated kind of bed thing with the big posters around the side. And and do you remember from back in the future when the mayor, like the mayor's car, that would go around the square, like announcing "vote for blah blah blah," da 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 da, and it's like Thai boxing, the ultimate fighting uh, this Monday, da 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 da, you know. And I was just like. The, and and I'm, I'm, we're sitting there. Here, I do have a picture of this for you guys on video. Uh, we're sitting there, and we're like, and there's trophies all over it, and there's the title belt across the, the the front of it on some of these cars. And I'm just like, I just want to be able to promote IWC RWA, like rolling through the South Side with a couple of the wrestlers <laughs> on the back of this truck, just yelling at people to get them the, with a the big poster for like winner takes all or yeah. seasons beatings or whatever uh, on the side of it to get people to go down there. I'm Great sure that's completely illegal in the city of Pittsburgh, uh, but, but it feels like the kind of thing that needs to happen. Uh, so, so that was kind of like, like wrestling promoters uh, implement this. We thought we talk about, we talk about previously how, how, how indie promoters just rely on Facebook and don't get out there and flyer. This is the ultimate flyering. I'm pointing at the screen right now. <laughs> That's off camera, but um, you can't see my fingers over that image right now. But <laughs> but uh, it, it was some it was some interesting experiences. So it was weird to go like a week without pro wrestling. Yeah. For me. So now I've just enveloped myself here in the show and hanging with you, Bobby. So I've enveloped myself with pops. <laughs> so you just surround yourself. You just surround yourself in a comfort zone of pop figures. As I surround myself in a comfort zone of cameras, computers, and pro wrestling cardboard standees. Um, Pops and art. Yes, exactly. Uh, well, from our respective temples of geekdom, Bobby F J Town is up at Bobby F J Town on the Twitter. Mm-hmm. See, go check out his musings. Yeah, and uh, Boss Battle's coming back this week. Uh, we're going to have a wrap. Um, I'm going to talk about my adventures on Extra Life and my current adventures in Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> so that'll be fun. I love... So I, I, one of you... Like, was it Riz or somebody asked... Um, uh, somebody tell me... You know, uh, he was asking about like Final Fantasy something yeah, something. I haven't yeah. played a bunch of them. And then like like not half an hour later i saw an article of questions you were embarrassed to ask about final fantasy 15 yeah yeah (laughs) it's 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 very good so far i'm like not very far into it but one of the characters is roman reigns (laughs) like it's roman reigns with a giant sword oh that's great that's amazing i I think that would be pretty awesome hey he's pretty sweet in the uh wb immortals game so (laughs) which is still out there i I also threw me that tlc was sponsored by slam card uh wait uh super card <laughs> i'm just super like card. wait that super card commercial once i want to i want to jump right back into it because of the sad john cena commercial that was brilliant <laughs> whoever thought of doing that was is a genius like, who are the ad wizards like, that come up with that one sometimes you feel like like the the advertising people for the video games are more clever than the wwe yeah. creative people <laughs> like yeah like the, the the 2k games the last couple of years have just had insanely great commercials that you have they're ne- like g- good they're probably like you remember that time john cena like basically had an emotional breakdown because he lost a match go with that only he's playing oh, super card oh, I know what you're t- the one where they put the phone in his hand yeah, yeah, he's sitting there just he's like all sad and ejected because he lost in Supercard. But it was from I think was when who did he lose to? Was it Bray Wyatt? Yeah, not not The Rock. It, he lost to he lost to somebody. It, it like made him. We had super sad Cena for like that whole like he he hardly won any matches that year. Yeah, yeah, it might have been when he lost to Owens. It might because I don't think it was been. a mania shot, but but anyways, you no, know, it, it's great stuff. Like I, I feel like like the um the the bar fight two K commercial, yeah, is like one of the best character things I've seen since like the old Super Bowl commercial where they were walking through uh, Titan Towers. 
I can't remember what other one they did last year too. And the last year, the commercial from last year was really good as well. Last year was but I can't remember. Last what year was. was the one where they were standing around the fire. Oh yeah, and there was like, and it was all like really it was subtle. Stone Cold edition. What the what? The Stone Cold edition. They, I think it was a Stone Cold thing, and they all had like maybe it was like. Wasn't there- it, it, they all had like something from like one of their opponents or one of the biggest yeah. a, a big story point for them, right? And they're like throwing it in the fire and everything. Like, Isn't I there like a city one too, though. The slam. You're thinking the slam city one this year? No, no, no. There was there was a different city one this and, year. Uh, and and stuff like year. the sting un- unveiling was yeah, amazing. Was orchestra the, the, with the orchestra, like that was yeah. like chills, chills. Ah, yeah. we don't get they're, they're we don't. Good. We don't get vignettes like that anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it just, mm. ah, ah. 2K is another like, level as far as advertising goes. The closest they get to that is we just got Shinsuke Nakamura on his phone saying he's coming to NXT in broken English, and everybody yeah. freaks out. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> like, just as much as Sting in the orchestra, right? Yep. So... <laughs> All right. Video I'm at Sorgatron on Twitter, <laughs> SorgatronMedia.com. Please check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Thank you, everybody, watching on stream on our Facebook page. You can see whatever we're streaming from at Tuesdays, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. We get uh, get going around that time, and uh, you can uh, see whatever's embedded there as well. Thank you for joining us. Thank for, thanks, Bobby. Thanks, everybody in the chat. Thank you, Mayhem Nation. See you on the Facebook group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.